the moment I decided to, to write my book, I was already aware of how the West reads the East and with this Orientalist approach. And I have read many, uh, especially Iranian Muslim women who would write their stories when they arrived to the West and describe the oppression from their religion or from their society. So, and how the West would feel, you know, sorry for them and look at them as victims. And I didn't want that. I really decided that when I write my book, I, I don't want anyone from the West to feel that I'm a victim. And I wanted them to read the story and see the power in every single sentence. This is a story that brings all these intersectional identities. As a Palestinian, as a, a, a citizen of the state of Israel, as an indigenous, as a Muslim, as a mother, as a woman, as a feminist, like bringing the West to the East, the East to the West, and, and not giving anyone to go out with an, one single idea, but with really a complex way of looking at things, because that's what I wanted to, to do through my book. And one of the Jewish readers in Montreal called me saying, oh, well, you, your second chapter is full of criticism of Israel and, and that and this. And then later, I, another Palestinian guy said, you know, you write beautifully about Jewish people and your experience. And I, 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 I said to both of them, I, I didn't write my book to please you or you. This is my own story. This is my own experience and I own it.